So first of all, we need to remove the part from the bottom that comes over the battery compartment. There we go. And that has just torn away. Um, you can see the battery compartment is here with the AA battery in, and it allows us to take, pop the side off. So very easily, there's a button on the side here, a little uh, lever, sorry, not a button. We pull it down and hopefully it just pops and there we go. Pull it down and the back lifts off really simply. And of course here, we can now see the end of the 35 mil. So you just pull it down, slides out the bottom, boom, and there we go. This is the Lomochrome Color Purple film that we've just used within it. So let me just wind this all the way in, otherwise I will inevitably forget that it's been exposed and reuse it for something else. So there we go, set this aside. That's gonna be sent to the lab uh, for the images that hopefully you've just seen. Okay, then. so now we can see a little bit more about the internal workings of the camera. So it's it's very simple. Um, you can see the little viewfinder there, you can see through to the shutter. This is where the new film goes and this is the take-up spool. Now obviously the big difference versus a normal 35mm camera is that in a normal 35mm camera, you load the film up and then you pull it out and you shoot, you pull it out and you shoot, um, and at the end you then wind it all the way back in, wind it all the way back in, and that's when you then open it up. This is the other way around. So as you shoot and take uh, and wind it on, it winds the film back into the canister, which means that you need to unwind the entire film before we start. So when I finish the film, I immediately pop open the back of the camera, done, send it off. But now we need to do it the other way around. So we'll first of all load the film, and then we'll have to rewind. So loading is super easy. So you pop it in here, just the opposite. So you slide it up. Um, you might need to wiggle it to make sure it goes all the way top. You can see it's done when it's, it's flashed with the top. And then you pull out a bit of the leader, just like a normal 35mm camera. Pull out enough of the leader to go across to the other side. And it looks here. Let's see there. That part's very flush. It sits quite nicely at the bottom. There we go, so that's now caught on to the little tooth. And we just need to wind it on now as normal. So you can see here, that's caught on. Um, now we wind that, there's a little lever at the bottom that you then pull out. And you can wind this on a little bit just to create a bit of tension to make sure that that's nice and tense. Make sure that the teeth have caught there. So you've got it caught there and you've got it caught there. As soon as it's flat, we're going to pull this and close it and it should just slip boom, at the bottom, click there. And I'm still holding on to this lever so I don't want it to start unwinding. Now the only thing we need now need to do is we need to flick this little switch here. So you can see there's a little switch there with the arrow. We switch it over to the left like that. That's now done, that's over at the left and that means that we can now wind it. So what we're doing here is we're winding the entire film from inside the canister onto that take-up spool. So here we go. And the cool thing is that as it goes, you will see that the uh, the shutter counter, let's get this right, the shutter counter is counting up as you go through. Now what this means is it means that we've got a 36 exposure film in here, so we will keep winding uh, until 36 and it'll stop. Uh, if you want to load it with a 24 exposure or a 27 or a 12 or whatever you have lying around, it would automatically stop at the right number because of course you're just winding until until the film runs out. So we can then just wind away quickly until we get to the 36, and then that will pretty much be it. There we go, winding on. And there we go, it stopped automatically. You can see it's at 36, and actually you can even see the start of the E that'll be empty. So then all you do, you pop this back down, you flick the switch back to the right, and that now locks it in, ready to go. And it is now loaded. This is now loaded with Potsdam 100 black and white film. We still have the flash, we still have the colors, which uh, will make a little bit less difference, but of course, still make some difference, depending on how you want to reflect the light back onto black and white. 
um, and this will go. Now I should probably make a note somewhere of the film because inevitably I'll forget, but for now I'll just go with it. Um, this is now going to go back into my pocket, will be used for the next set of uh, family fun days, nights out, pub sessions, that kind of thing. Um, which would be brilliant fun. I'm not worried about the flash running out because, as I say, I can change the battery here without needing to touch the, the film part. It can happen. It can run out even in the middle of the film and I'll just be able to use it. And then I'm actually really excited to see what kind of things we get back from it. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching um, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.